you guys can see the progress now and um, now i got a new windshield so that's really nice hello guys welcome to another honda element video today i'm going to show you how to install this oem roof rack and i just pick up this at the junk car for around 30 dollars and the tools that you are going to need is a ratchet with a five millimeter uh this is an allen socket and a very small flat screwdriver i'm using a impact gun but i highly recommend you to just go with a ratchet what you guys going to do is if you open both of the doors you can use that to go like up on this side and then you come on the roof rack and then you guys gonna see this is a driver's side and there are three covers so there is one over there two and three but what we are going to use for this is this one right here and that one over there and if you guys come here there is like a groove over here and that's where you are going to install the screwdriver there are actually three groups so you can use all of them to like lift this plastic up and then this one should pop up then this one we don't gonna use anymore you guys can keep it in a safe place and as you guys see it here is three holes over there and that's where we are going to install the bolts that comes with the roof rack so we're gonna go back in a minute the first thing i'm going to do first is just remove all the bolts all, all the covers i mean so it's going to be four in total you can always give it a good clean you know before installing the the cover you guys can see all the crap that this one has over the time so after cleaning this i'm going to remove the other side now this is the passenger side and we're gonna do the same thing right here so remove this one right here and that one over there so these are the covers out and now when we come to the roof rack you guys gonna see the roof rack has uh covers but one of the roof racks has like a longer cover that one the longer one goes right in the back guys because if you see it it's like a bigger hole over there this is a smaller one so that's why it's going to cover and we have to remove all four covers remove uh, to remove this one guys it has like a little groove in the middle so what you're gonna do you're just gonna very carefully pry and kind of wibble the screwdriver don't go too hard because you're gonna end up breaking this you guys can see the groove over there so that's how you're gonna remove it and then inside has three holes and that's where you are going to install the five millimeter allen bolts and it comes with the washers if you guys um, and for this side guys pretty much the same thing you just leave leave this and make sure all the washers are there so we're gonna have three in each side and pretty easy to do guys you're just going to install it on top and then you are going to add those bolts over there okay so let's do that and you guys can see i'm doing all this one hand but sometimes guys this is how it is when you're working in cars and you just gotta make sure it's aligned you guys can see it's aligned already you can see the 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 holes over there make sure over there is aligned too and just install the three bolts in each side guys and tie it with a five millimeter i'm going to use the the gun but like i say guys highly recommend you to use a ratchet because you don't want to break these bolts these allen bolts are very easy to break and you don't want to end up breaking it and now let's go ahead and install it guys there it is all is aligned all is perfect now we are just going to install this with the washers just like install the bolt like this and then it's just gotta be quick there it is and highly recommend you to go by hand first install all six of them three over three here three over there by hand before you are going to tighten it and, and before fully tightening these three bolts i highly recommend you to do the other three and then you just tie that one come back here tie it and boom good to go you just install the cover bags i'm going to show you that too and now let's go to the other side 
so now that these balls are tied guys you're just gonna grab one of these covers you're just gonna kind of guide it in place and voila you just push on this and this is really nice and secure i highly recommend you to, to add some like a little bit of uh, lag tie on the balls like guys and that's how you start the oem roof rack guys pretty simple to do it took me no more than 10 minutes to do it and look who is here guys, Stefan Aldaco. He just came to do some maintenance in his element and we are hanging out here. You guys can see the Kiwi element with the OEM roof rack. Just to give you an example of an aftermarket roof rack guys, it's pretty much the same thing. It also has the three bolts that are that holds that mount of the roof rack. But the cool thing about the aftermarket is that you guys can always remove like the bars. You usually put a key over there, you push on the bottom, and then the roof racks will come out. So that's one of the advantage of having an aftermarket one. And that's just the OEM look. And what do you guys think? Which one do you have? Please comment, like, and subscribe. See you next on the element video. Bye-bye.